Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We're we, we finally met New Jericho in the last episode. The very first base we found in all of this area that we've covered. So I guess they don't have much of a presence over here in uh, in Asia. So diplomacy wise, we're good friends with disciples of Anu, kind of friendly with the two others. But we want to increase that because we want access to all their bases. So we are gonna try and uh, increase that a bit. Now, do we have we have two scans going at the moment? But this one down here is almost finished, and we have a mission to find the Phoenix base in North America. So I think I wanna get up here and do a scan next time. So let's head back, rest up a bit, and also. If we go to bases, we have a lot of materials now. I want to build this thing over here. The containment facility it will take four days to build. And that's fine and dandy. And so let's head back to base and take a little bit. Actually, let's explore this on the way. Scavenging site. Go threat. Daylight. Let's do this on the way, then we'll have more to rest up when we get back. And everyone is ready. We're slightly injured, but it's no big deal. By the squad. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got some materials, some food, materials over there. Materials, materials. All right. So most of it, well, all of it is down in this area over here, except for the one food thing, which we don't really need. So let's head over in the direction where there is most likely going to be enemies. Let's head up here and see if there's anything in here. Doesn't look like it. Let's move forward some more. I see. All right. We spotted something. Three of these dudes with pincers and grenade launchers and a mine fragger. All right. You know what? I am going to move you back again. Because that was a little bit dangerous. And hmm, should we dash up and take that guy out, the mind fragger, or should we just stay down here and overwatch? No, I think I'll stay down here and overwatch. Let's overwatch in this direction, and then you. And come down here and overwatch in this direction. And then you actually need to dash up here and then run up here and overwatch in this direction. You can come up here and overwatch. In here. Holding position. Then we have snipes. Who can actually take a shot from this range. Targeting. And we'll take out his leg so we can't move so far. Okay. Right. Unfortunately, he pulled the Overwatch there. Were those those the guys that we could see before? I don't think so. All right. Ah, uh, maybe it was. Maybe it was. So snipes. You. Mm. 
Hmm. Look out that leg. We should have quick aimed that. That was my mistake. You can come up here. Actually, you can dash over here. This might be a mistake, but we're going to take that out. And take that out. Alright. I didn't actually mean to shoot right then, but it's fine. Now you have quick aim as well, and you have dash. So if you dash over here, that's four will points. He has four left, so he can quick aim once, which he doesn't need. So... Take you out. Dash. Up no here. For the wicked. Take a shot at you. In the buttocks. And then you can dash in and... Melly him to death. I wonder if that's all of them. Advancing. Uh, right. There we go. That was all of them. That was nice and easy. That was very nice and easy. And we got a level up on. Uh, Morian here, Longmont, and he's level 6 now. Very cool. Let's head back to the Geoscape. Okay, so 400 materials, 100 food, some medkits, an Iron Fury mag, and another quiver. Okay, but good. I think it's time to head back and get a bit of r and &R in. So, Construction completed research lab and fabrication plant. That is awesome. So our research is quite fast now. I think, uh, how many research labs do we have? One? Uh, one? Two? Three? We don't didn't have one over here. So three research labs at the moment. And I'm thinking of getting a fourth. Or maybe getting... Ooh, you know what? Let's get a satellite uplink over here. Shall we? Uh, we cannot. We are missing what? Oh, we're missing tech. We have zero tech. Okay, fair enough. So let's take a look at our personnel, is what I want to look at. We have a level up there, and we have a level up for Stephen Clark as well. Let's take a look at you. Weak spot. <clears throat> Not that interesting. Resourceful. Not that interesting. Now, Mark for Death is interesting. So we'll take that. But for the rest. We'll take speed, I think. Maybe a couple of strength. All right. So that's pretty good. Snipes is really, really good. Okay, let's head back to the Geoscape and rest up. Scan complete. Finish that scan, and we are basically. Whoops. There's a Anu Haven under attack there. So we could go help them. Well, we should go help them, and we will go help them. So let's just rest up a little bit more so that we're at full health. It should be fine. They're winning. My sources tell me New Jericho has developed a new type of APC. I hope they intend to use it to fight the Pandorans, not their fellow human beings. I hope so too, and I'm sure they do. 
I'm not really sure that you qualify entirely as human anymore, though, to be honest. But the real question is, how can you win a war if you don't understand the battlefield? All the vehicles in the world won't help you if you cling to the delusions of the old world. I should know. I remember the wars of the old world better than anyone. Hmm. Okay, so a military victory is possible, so Wires West has a plan. New Jericho is the last spasm of a dying order. So this is definitely gonna annoy New Jericho. This is going to annoy Anu. I think we'll go with humanity needs all the tech it can get. Well, fair enough, actually, but we do have to be careful. And that means that Anu doesn't like us. Nidrian doesn't like us as much. Oh, they don't like New Jericho, and Sinedrian doesn't like New Jericho, and Anu likes us a little bit better. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care if they like each other, to be honest. We have another level up on Babe. So let's see what he can get. Uh, no, don't really care. Rally the troops. Nah. Uh, I think we'll get some of that going and some more willpower. We're saving up this because I'm not sure I want to use it. Uh, I'm not sure I don't want to use it, but for now we're saving it up so that in case something really sh cool shows up, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll use it then. So these guys, I didn't do the training for you now, and you are now level 3, we could do the dash, he's gonna get it anyway, uh, but we'll, we'll wait, we'll wait, and we'll head over here, and help out. Demon under attack, attacking strength 3, that's not that much. They'll like us a lot better, and the others will like us a little bit less. We will get a little bit of tech. We could do with a lot more tech, to be honest. But let's start the mission and help out the uh, Anu. So I am happy with everything here. Let's go. All right. Another cool temple here. And we're up top again. I really kind of like that. Now, can get over to the other side as well. Not bad. All right. Let's whoa. Move over here. See if we see anything. Not yet. Still nothing. And still nothing. All right. We'll leave you there. Standing by. You probably check if there's anything down this way too, shouldn't we? Not so far. Got a visual. There we go. A couple of them. Where are they? Over there. And you have spitting head, pincer, and launcher arm. Okay. That's kind of a little bit worrisome. A little bit worrisome. Right, we'll leave you there for now. Uh, you can come over here. See if there's anything down there. No. Let's overwatch in this general direction just to see. We have our shotgun dude. He's gonna jump down. Nothing in there so far. Smash a few windows on the way. And let's overwatch on this door. Now, That's Sniper, okay. you need to come over here. And 
then you can drop down as well. Where do we want to drop you to? Those here is fine. And we'll watch there. I think we'll move you in the general direction of these two. Okay, he's moving in. Not that far though. He spotted us. So snipes. Receiving. You can't see a damn thing. Can you see a damn thing from over there? No. Alright, so we can run two. So from here you can Heading see out. him. Because we can quick aim. And take a shot. At his arm. <laughs> That's fine. Just put a bit of damage in. That means that you all set. And dash up and smack him. Pushing on. Hopefully we don't see anything else while we do that. You know what? Before we smack him, because I don't want the other guy to react and shoot us, we'll dash up with our shotgun. And take that guy out. If we can. Oh. We could. Mm -hmm. Now we can. There we go. Bye bye. Ah, he doesn't have a machine gun, so he doesn't have anything to react with. I'm here. Alright, never mind. Strike. There we go. It's not over. Not over. Let's Moving come back here and just sit it out. So where, where is the last guys? Well, there, I think there's one left. That's Overwatch out this way. I'm on Overwatch. Overwatch out this way. And over here. Oh, there he is. We can shoot him and get out of sight. Oh, take out that spitterhead. Low charm and spitterhead. Uh, well, we disabled the head. We didn't. Hmm. Alright. Come back so you don't get launched on or something. Where's he going? Oh, there's two of them. There is two of them. Alright, so that's a another of those dudes. Okay. So why don't you dash? Let's see, down here. Oh, dash down here. Shoot him in the leg. Then you can dash around here. And shoot him in the leg. Or oh, what? Actually, the arm is better. This arm is better. Oh, he's dead. And that's the mission. Nice and easy heavy in defense. Very nice. Another level up. And a couple of close ones as well. So not bad, not bad. And we'll get the materials and tech and stuff. So we're happy.
let's head back to the geoscape. Ooh, look at all this stuff. So, decent reward. We would have liked more tech, but it's fine. Six Redeemer magazines. Virus rifle magazine, cool. A Marduk's fist. Two virus rifles. That's pretty cool. Nurgal's Wrath Mag, Medkit, and Iconoclast Mag. Now, I am looking forward to seeing what these things are. Let's have a look. I come bearing a message from the voiceless Hierophant. Words do not matter. Everything written is ash. Everything spoken is wind. But your actions show promise. Let the rite of hunger commence. Are you ready to make a sacrifice for our faith? I mean, we have tons of food, right? Uh, I, so let's make the sacrifice. Because we want to get up to 50 with them, because then they'll share all their tech, I think. So let's make the sacrifice. The voiceless Hierophant will be pleased, and you will gain new insights and come closer to the perfection of the body. May your journey to the blind legate continue. Okay, so New Jericho really didn't like that. Sinidrian didn't really like it either. And we got 15 skill points, which is, I guess, okay. But it wasn't really what I was hoping for. Let's have a look at research. So Pandoran Evolution, zero, seven hours. And then there's a bunch of reverse engineering stuff, which I kind of feel like maybe is a waste of time. Let's... Let's do these. Let's do my new Jericho first, get that done. And then we'll get the Pandoran Evolution done. Actually, let's just do the Pandoran Evolution first. And then new Jericho and then all the other stuff. All right, uh, let's have a look at diplomacy. So 4% friendly and 5% friendly, and we need to get them up to, uh, well, 50 really, really want them. To, to get their tech, but at least 25 to get access to all their bases. So we're going to, we, to we're going to want to do some missions for those guys. But I think we're going to go and do this Pandora nest next. We'll take that out. But first, we have a level up on Agent J here. So training. Now I am considering, so we have what, one, two, three, three of these guys uh, assaults with us, right? One, two, three. And I am considering, if we look at Agent J here, Bombardier, no, he has the far-sighted thing, so that's not the guy we want to do it with. Uh, if we want to do it, we want to do it with... So, what I'm considering is doing... Making one of them a heavy. But... Uh, hmm... Let's have a look at you. What do you have? Thief, Sniperist, and Quarterback. If we do, are going to make one of them a heavy, we really want it to be someone with... Heavy weapons thing down here. None of these guys have that. I'm not going to make any of these guys a heavy. But we do want to level up you, right? Yeah, um, Bombardier, nah, not right now anyway. Healer, yeah, let's do that. That puts him to 12 willpower. Well, let's give him some speed. All right. Now, I actually want to see his equipment. What do these things do? Plus three speed, plus two speed, 
plus four perception. That's actually not bad. He is really, really fast now. Cool. All right, so we have a scan done down here. Let's start one over in this area. I think here. Turning and turning. One of our operatives has reported experiencing repeated lucid, lucid nightmares of floating up into the sky, helplessly twisting and turning in a nausea-inducing spiral motion that seems to defy the principles of Euclidean space. They always woke up before they could see where they were going, but sense a frightening, frightening presence waiting for them there. Yikes. That sounds scary. A medical examination shows nothing wrong with the operative, and the dreams seem to have stopped for now. All Phoenix soldiers have lost five stamina. Okay. Is that permanent, or...? No, they've just lost it for now. Okay. That's fine, I suppose we can live with that. The Exarch Blues, Kish. Exarch Feral of Kish is desperate. A lot of her haven's ordinary machinery is breaking down, but the haven's Anagnos Anagnostes has taken all the spare parts for his hallowed machines. It's a funny thing, being an Exarch, she tells our operatives. In theory, you're in charge of the Haven, but there are a lot of other forces at play, and sometimes you end up having no authority at all. Right now, right now, all I can do is hope you're willing to trade. I really don't want to get uh, rid of some tech, uh, but we will do. We will help out in exchange for resources. So, eighty food, ninety materials, and. Disciples of Anu like us a little bit better, and the Haven leader is pretty much in love. Right, Exarch Feral is relieved. Let me tell you, in some ways things were a lot easier before we joined the Disciples. Well, not easier, less complicated. But it's never been easy, and at least the Exalted has a vision for the future. Okay. So, that takes us to 46% for the Anu. That's not bad. Let's start this area scan. And then we can, on the way back, we can take these three and then do this uh, Pandoran nest, I guess. Research complete. All right, Pandoran evolution. Field reports are indicating that some Pandorans of the Arthron and Triton types are gradually developing resistances and counters to our weaponry. While this process is in some ways resembles traditional evolution, it is clearly a much more directed process. Rather than ad adapting to evolutionary pressure, the Pandorans are being adapted with a goal in mind, the eradication of humanity. Well, let's not let them do that. But it does give us 150 tech, which is really nice, and 300 materials. So we actually have a ton of materials now. Now, it's really tech that we are short on. The games we used to play, Exploration Site. What at first appears to be a bunker that might hide survivors turns out to be a more of an archive. At some point before the collapse, someone used this facility to save an extensive collection of computer games for the long defunct operation system, DOS. Okay. Word of this discovery causes an unusual wave of nostalgia and excitement, culminating in requests from New Jericho and Sinedrian to for the material to be shared. So we can share it with New Jericho or Sinedrian or share it with everyone. I think we're going to share it with everyone. So New Jericho likes us a little bit better, Sinedrian likes us a little bit better, and both of them like each other a little bit better. So that's kind of nice. Cool. Well, that brings us a little bit up there. Unfortunately, disciples of Anu didn't really care about it. But okay, let's head down here. Research complete. New Jericho. New Jericho is a militaristic organization founded by Tobias West, the enigmatic billionaire founder of Vanadium Inc. 
ideologically committed to West's uh, values of reason and meritocracy, New Jericho valorizes human will as the foundation of freedom and sees the Pandorans as a threat to the very core of human identity. West is said to have developed a long-term military strategy that will succeed where previous campaigns have failed. Some accuse him of being of building of having built a cult of personality around him. Okay. Another 250 materials, not bad. I do agree that the Pandorans are a threat to uh, the very core of humanity. New Jericho was one man's vision, and everything depended on that one man. Before the war, Tobias West had been a billionaire, an elusive, controversial businessman who denounced war even as he profited from it. When the world fell, his empire began to rise. Some said he was a genius, a man of principle, dedicated to equality and merit, fighting to preserve the core of human freedom, our will. They said he had a plan, that he could lead us to victory. Others called him a dictator, a megalomaniac, fearful of infection and obsessed with purity. They said he was willing to do anything to win, no matter the cost. The Phoenix Project needed allies. New Jericho could help us turn the tide, but it all depended on one man. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Let's over here, head over here and explore this. The disciples of Anu Haven is under attack. Ooh, Kalku. Where is that? It's down there. We can make it. We can even finish exploring this scavenging site. We're going to take this mission. Uh, well, we're, we're going to go help these guys out first and then we'll uh, go get the Pandoran nest. Maybe rest up first, get the Pandoran nest and then head back here. But we also need to head up here and do uh, set up a new area scan. But first, we're going to head to Kalhu and help the Anu down here, but we're going to do it in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.